Well, good morning. I kind of feel strange speaking in English. Uh, <laughs> the audience seems to be mainly Japanese, but uh, <laughs> I prepare speech in English, so let me speak. Well, it's my pleasure to be part of the G0 Summit again. <clears throat> Back in 2016, uh, we proposed Society 5.0 as a vision of a future society built around AI and data. And this vision is already becoming a reality. A vast amount of data collected from sensors creates new value through AI, and they are then fed back to us, humans. The emergence of generative AI, which has been attracting public attention since the end of last year, will further accelerate this process. The development of AI has led to fierce international competition over data algorithm and semiconductors. The global supply chains have expanded and become more complex but these supply chains are expected to become more efficient and stable with development of data standards and data linkage platforms. Yet, if this integration is facilitated in a way that is convenient only for certain countries, and if access to such large amount of data is uneven, it will pose a threat to the economies and the security of many countries in the wave of global digitalization. Such complex geopolitical, economic, and social impact of digitalization require urgent discussions of data governance. To address this urgent need, the G7 has agreed to establish a new international mechanism to operationalize data free, free flow with trust. It was authorized by CDEP, Committee on Digital Economy Policy of the OECD, last night to establish its permanent secretariat under the umbrella of the OECD. But its participants are not limited to G7 nor the OECD member states, we will actively try to reach out to the global south and uh, encourage them to be a member of this new mechanism. The new mechanism will address a wide variety of issues such as privacy protection, data security and accuracy, international data transfer, and compliance with various national laws and regulations while respecting different social visions. It is almost impossible to make a convergence of Europe's GDPR and the wild, wild west of the US data governance. Well, forget about the rule convergence, but are even under the different ideas and the principles. We should be able to improve interoperability of cross-border data flow among the different national systems and to advance substantive policy coordination to facilitate cross-border data flow. This new mechanism under the umbrella of OECD will promote the use of technology and the governance and cooperation between technology experts and the policy makers. Some countries are already making practical applications of new emerging technologies such as pets or privacy enhancing technologies and reg tech. In the field of data, Policymakers alone cannot create the rules and regulations anymore. Any rules and regulations concerning data must be backed up with technology to achieve the policy goals. So we must integrate 
technology into governance by collaborating with the private sector and technical communities that handle technology. The new international framework will consist of a government panel and an expert panel. Through these activities, we could advance our responses to the challenges raised around cross-border flow of data, such as privacy, data protection, security, and intellectual property. I believe this will accelerate economic growth of the countries and lead to the creation of a more connected, more efficient, and more resilient digital society and no one is left behind, where people can achieve various ways of happiness and well-being. Let me also briefly talk about another issue of data. One of my colleagues in the parliament asked a generative AI to draw a Japanese temple, but it came back with a very, very strange looking building with Mount Fuji and cherry blossom in the background. That doesn't make it Japanese. Today's learning data set for AI are biased towards English language. All of the major generative AI platforms are trained with data set heavily skewed towards data in English. I raised this concern at the G7 digital ministers meeting and the French minister echoed with me saying, even French language has become a minority language in the field of AI. How to incorporate data sets in minority language into AI platforms is a serious and urgent issue. And we need to create a forum to discuss this issue. Well, I appreciate today's opportunity to share my thoughts on the importance of forming international data governance. I look forward to continuing our discussion with all of you on how to maximize benefits of digital technology and um, bring them to data-driven society. So thank you very much and looking for the discussion today. Thank you.